So how did you two meet? Go for it. <laughs> Go. I was with my girlfriends, and we decided to go to um, a discotheque, have a couple of drinks, dance, enjoy the music, meet people. That's right. I went there with my two friends. The whole we see on the billboard, Armenian Ladies' Night. And we're going, oh, okay, this could be interesting. Romeo decided to walk up after about 13 minutes to Juliet, and that was it. 35 years later, you know, three kids. To me, it just clicked. It wasn't his dance moves that got me. Hell no. Way. No, no. When I decided to do this, I knew that like I was gonna give it all my 100%. I was not gonna be deterred by maybe a bad day or a bad connection or anything. Love is a marathon, not a sprint. So <laughs> I was like, let's see who's next. Part of it. <laughs> you know, I've known this guy for like 10 years, and maybe he's been like right under my nose all this time. Oh my god, these are beautiful. <laughs> I am just shocked. What in the world? What is this is truly the Armenian small world <laughs> thing. Okay, but this does take the pressure off. I I'm, I mean like yeah, I know easy. you, you know. Just take it easy, you know. Oh it's my god. Good. So how did you find yourself? Um like just they reached out to me, uh, yeah. and then it just ended up. I was like, and you're like, of course, uh, I, like, I know her. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've been looking for someone that I don't know, obviously. I've, like, thought about that myself. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm going to find, like, someone that's, like, that I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Randomly out of nowhere. Like, no, I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> it's like the six degrees of Armenianness. Yeah. There's going to be someone. Yeah, someone there's going to be someone's some aunts, something. like, sisters, I don't know what, right. that knows you, and they're going to be like, I am curious, what did you tell them like you're looking for and stuff? I'm looking for a level-headed person. A big thing for me is common sense. Because mm -hmm. um, it's I, not common. Correct. Armenian, mm -hmm. um, family-oriented. Uh, um, Have uh, you not found that in anyone so far? or Do you think you're picky? or I mean, have you dated non-Armenians in the past? My First ever girlfriend was non-Armenian, but I was 16. Okay. <laughs> so right. it's like... Yeah, I can't even say that I've like found everything that I'm looking for in someone who's not Armenian, and that was the only thing holding it back. But I mean, I also realized that it's not really about someone who has like everything. It's maybe someone who... I would like my future partner to be someone that would make me a better person. There's no perfect person for anyone out there, just right. a better version of them maybe. And in return, I make them a better person and we compliment each other. It's maybe someone who like compliments things that you don't have or sure. vice versa. And like, yeah. I don't know, sometimes I, I feel like I've gotten so comfortable being single that it might read as indifference to guys like, Definitely not like looking for someone that's a joint to my hip at all times. I'm there with you. I'm there with you. I mean, you're also really tall, so I don't know who's gonna be a joint to your hip. After the whole Natasha situation went down, I learned something new about myself. So I was like, okay, this is what I'm gonna add in my repertoire tomorrow, the next day, next week. Now I'm just more open-minded. I'm gonna keep it calm, I'm gonna keep it cool. Hi, Hi. how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Here, come on, have a seat. Okay, thank you. Of course. Good. Take your time. You need help or? No, it's okay. I just have a bunch of stuff in here. You're good. Make yourself comfortable. Don't even worry about a thing. 
<laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Cammy. Cammy? Yeah. Sean, nice to meet nice you. Nice to I know, meet you. I know we didn't. I just hugged you and you're like, hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, How's so everything? Good. I usually, I don't know mm -hmm. how you do it on your first dates, but uh -huh. I usually do this. What? So <laughs> I'm nervous. Don't, you don't have to be. You don't have to be nervous. <laughs> what are you going to ask? No, it's just, these are like simple questions. Okay. You have to like clear your mind though. Just okay. Just like take a breather, like inhale and then exhale, mm -hmm. and then just try to answer each question that I give you as like the best way you can. Okay. First question. Mm -hmm. Favorite color? Blue. Favorite animal? Tiger. Why? They're just beautiful. I don't know. I love Oh yeah, I've, they're beautiful. I've, I've always loved tigers. Okay. Right. They're just so elegant. Okay. Favorite uh, place that either you've been on a vacation mm -hmm. or you want to go on a vacation? I love Paris. Paris? Yeah. Okay. If you have to choose an activity, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you two. You're going to choose between the two. Okay. Okay. Hiking mm -hmm. or the beach? The beach. Why? Um, I don't, I just, I like going to the beach. I like the ocean. Oh, the beach is amazing. Yeah. I picked that too, 100%. Do you have anything for me? Like just throw some Yeah, like where have you traveled or where do you want to travel that you I would really say Greece. Do? So yeah. when I saw the, like pictures of the houses and stuff, like I really want to mm -hmm. go during like a summertime. Yeah, for sure. It's beautiful. Yeah. You got more? Okay, like I gave um, you like eight. <laughs> so like, what has your like dating history been like? You well, talk straight about into it, huh? I, mean, I like what else it. Are I like it. Talk I, about? No, no, no. I like <laughs> the I like the bluntness of it. Okay. I, I'm cool with it. We don't have to. I don't have to transition with you. I could just ask you. I feel comfortable. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? Um, You're a big uh, travel person. Yeah, I am. Uh, I don't know if they told you, but I'm kind of like the itinerary person in the family. You like to plan? It's kind of like by nature what I do with my work too. Like I plan everything, but also, of course, I enjoy having time where I'm going and experiencing new things. I new heard people. your destination mm -hmm. to visit would be Greenland and Iceland. Yes. And then that, that was mine too. Yeah. After Greece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, was like, and they're like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like I would need to try Greece again at some point because, but you know, like the, the Mykonos and the whatever, I was like, this is such a couple's destination. Like I'm here <laughs> with my family. What am I doing? Yeah. Like, I'm literally looking up into the mountain and there's like these white, beautiful hotels with infinity pools overlooking the ocean. <laughs> and I'm like, cool. Like, <laughs> I'm over here getting stung by a jellyfish. Like, this is great. <laughs> Dating history? I mean, no long-term relationships because just I wasn't in the right place. My biggest mistake was I let other people in on it. What do you mean? Like, people knew about a relationship happening uh -huh. and like their opinions kind of got in the way of it. I feel like when you're younger and you're in relationships, yeah. like people can influence your decision making. And you're right. And I think like you just need a certain level of maturity to be in a relationship to begin with. Yeah. I think in my case, it wasn't they influenced me so much. It was they influenced the, uh, the girl. The oh. girl was influenced. Okay. So like my friend at the time mm -hmm. knew how much I liked her. And she it basically sabotaged everything, basically. So that was wow. kind of like my lesson. There was an age gap, not that big. Was she younger? She was younger. Okay. I don't know if this is like weird for me to ask hmm. you, but like, yeah. <laughs> how old are you? I'm 24. 24? So okay. yeah, I'm, I'm older than you. I don't care. That's like kind of a concern that like okay. I, might, I might have mm -hmm. because like, it's like the emotional maturity level yeah. needs to be at a certain point for me to like want to like pursue something with someone. Yeah. That's your decision. Like yeah. you have to figure that out. What is it that I don't know about you? Um, half my family's from Boston. I did not know yeah. that. So my sports 
love is a little bit Don't split. Don't say right. Celtics and... No, I said Lakers and Kings. Yeah, but there's more coming with that. Yeah, and then there's the Patriots and then the Red Sox. <laughs> <laughs> How can you right? be a fan of Boston and LA? So who are your teams? Okay, I'm all LA, all okay. day. It's Dodgers, Lakers, and UCLA Bruins, obviously. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I got asked that question, too. Oh, what? Uh, UCLA or SC. Oh, and? and my answer was Gold Matadors. <laughs> what is a CSUN? Yeah. <laughs> That's why your answer was good. That's why your answer was good. <laughs> yeah. Because if I said one or the other, no. and then your uncle loved it. So no, yeah, okay. my aunt and problem. uncle did go to CSUN, yeah. so there, that was a good answer. You right. won them over, I guess. How do your parents, do? first of all, do your parents know that you're like on a show, an Armenian dating show? My mom knows that I'm my mom knows that I'm on um, the show. Uh-huh. But your dad doesn't. Oh, okay. I don't okay. want to talk about that. Don't worry. I won't, I won't bring it up. But you <laughs> No, it's honestly not a big deal. I just, like, don't want to, like... It's fine. Like, okay, don't worry. Ooh. Okay. Is that nah. a dolma? Yeah. Okay. Let, me, let me tell you this right now before we continue. Yeah. You got to eat. And one of my biggest pet peeves is if, like, you say you're hungry, but you're, like... Reserving your... I'm I'm not that hungry. Okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna tell you I'm like hungry. No, I know, I know, but I'm just saying like, you get what I mean. Yeah, I hope it... Well, I'm glad there was an Armenian dating show to finally bring us together for more than highs and buys. <laughs> oh, it's been great. <laughs> that is so funny. I feel like I knew you when I was, um, when I went to Armenia with Jamboree, and that was 10 years ago, so. I never made it to the Jamboree yeah. events, unfortunately, but. It's whatever. the same as like Hamaskai, you know, all we did was camp, but it was Armenians from everywhere. Right. Still didn't meet someone. <laughs> <laughs> I met Armenians from around the world, and I was still like, nah. No. <laughs> Pass. Pass. We talked about family a lot, travel a lot, and I think those are some of the things that we connected most on. I love her bubbly personality, her charisma. I feel like she'll bring light into a dark room. You know, on paper, he's so much of like what I'm looking for, so... Maybe I do need to dig a little deeper. <laughs> What are like red flags that, the, that you look out for? In a relationship? Uh, like in a girl or In a girl? Yeah. Okay. A red flag that I potentially uh, look out for is unnecessarily high expectations. Let me explain. Okay. Let's say I text you, right? I, d I DM'd mm -hmm. you and I just went, let's go hang out. Mm -hmm. right? And you were like, okay. Now, you don't have to picture my face, but I'm just saying, like, it's, you, you were like, okay, I'm down. Yeah. I come to your door, but I don't knock on the door. So I just text you like, hey, I'm outside. Which is pretty normal. Yeah, that's normal. Right? <laughs> so I wait for you outside, you come outside, you know, I don't open the door for you, all that stuff. But like you, because I'm trying to get to know you, so I don't know you yet. An unbelievably high expectation of a girl would be, he didn't come to the door. Well, like, why didn't, like, bringing it up or talking about it to somebody else, like, he didn't come to the door. He's supposed to come to the door. He's supposed to knock. He's supposed to, yeah. stuff like that. Oh, he didn't do this. Um, like, when they put themselves at an unbelievably high importance level, when they have nothing to show for it, I think that's a red flag for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why I feel like when a lot of, like, young, like, relationships, when you, you know, you meet someone when you're really young, like, they don't last that long. It's just because, like, people are still, like, learning about themselves and they don't fully know what they want. And then I think, I don't know, when you're too young, there's some, like, insecurity that you carry. Definitely. I didn't even touch this. They didn't bring anything new. That's okay. Oh, speak of the devil. They weren't. <laughs> I, oh. Les would bought over. I literally just said it and it came. Okay. After the day with Cami, I'm feeling drained. I feel drained. I felt I feel like that is the hardest 
I've worked in a date. In my head, I wish I could tell her, like, you did a great job. Because she stuck it out to the end, and she was a trooper for doing it. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'll be completely honest. Not good. Um, it didn't click whatsoever. Not even a little bit. It was just like, you know when you can tell someone doesn't want to be there? I learned that one date is definitely not enough. Yeah. Uh, I kind of had that idea. I kind of already knew that, but it, it taught me that it, this isn't just, dating is not just a one step process. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a 12 step thing, maybe even more. Majority of my first dates have been horrible. Right. And But out of that, there have been good ones where after it comes back and how I know is after the date, like I see that glimmer of like, okay, like you can kind of see that she's interested, but she's reserved. You have your space. It was too much fear in her. What to it? She was weighing a lot. It, it would take her longer time to weigh in. Mm -hmm. Should I open up about, about this or should I not? Maybe should I say it or should I not? Came down to the dad, uh, dad and brother doesn't know, so she's like, yeah, it was that plays a huge dad, factor. In it's her a head. fear. Yeah. <sighs> Hopping is like a part of the family almost. It, it was, I wouldn't go that far, well, but, but I, I mean, mean, yeah, we know uh, he's the part of the home and home and family. And family. He walked in and I was like, what is going on here? And you know, as we're sitting and getting to know each other, I was thinking to myself like, he's, you know, someone that I've known for about 10 years and we have never explored, um, anything more than, you know, hey, how are you? Good, how have you been? How's the family? Everything like that, you know, very surface level. So it wasn't weird in the sense that like, he's too close of a friend that it would be like, uh, no thanks. He was just far enough, like, you know, from me that I felt like, you know, this could be a good option of someone that's just been like under my nose maybe for 10 years and I haven't explored that and um, that maybe I should and, now we're being given an opportunity to do that. So, you know, make the best of it. Go in, have your open mind and see what comes of, um, you know, what you find out about him and how you feel about it and everything. And, you know, we had a great time. He, we laughed the entire time. Um, he's so sweet. I, I learned probably more about him in that Sure. On that date than I have in the 10 years I've known him, funny enough. Honestly, it, I think the only thing there for me was just that I don't feel that spark with him, you know? And I, I don't think that he does either. I think for the two of us, the biggest obstacle is the fact that we probably know each other. And I couldn't help but think that in knowing him 10 years, if we were going to date, we would have by now. Why would we not have explored that sooner? I like what he and I are, and I, I wouldn't want to convolute that any more. Or, or compromise or, what you... Yeah, to, I, I wouldn't want to, you know, potentially try that, maybe then lose a friend or something like that. Like, I like the presence that he has in my life for whatever amount it is. And I think that it's way more important to, like, keep that than to, than to figure out if there's more there. And, and Humpy, like... Just, he made me feel good. Um, we had a great time. And I know that he is going to make someone very happy. I agree, I agree. The fact that we have this bond, I think will forever be funny to us, will be forever be a memory for us. And for that, I'm thankful. You know, I feel like when we do run into each other again, there'll definitely be something to There's talk about. There's something to talk about. And it's not gonna be like, how are you? How's it going? Nice, cool, all right, bye. You know, there's... So, and have you been on any uh, dating shows lately? You know, <laughs> found your love match, what's going on? Ultimately, I decided that it wasn't the right fit with Humping either. And I tried to even give that a chance in during the date. I was thinking like, yeah, we've known each other for a long time. So, you know, go in with an open mind and really give it a chance. But I couldn't see us being any more than friends. And 
what people are seeing is probably like, why isn't she picking him? He's a great guy. He's funny. He's this, he's that. But, you know, that one thing is the spark. It's that romantic connection. And I didn't feel that with Humpy. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. Um, oh, I like your dress. It looks nice. Thank you. Oh, it's a top. <laughs> oh, oh no, my bad. Um, I was just gonna call and let you know that um, unfortunately there's not gonna be a second date uh, with us. I know that you want me to be upfront and forward and honest, and uh, I expect the same way from you, so... Um, no, I feel the same way. I agree. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Did this woman hang up? I didn't even say bye yet. Jeez. Okay, Cammy. <laughs> I mean, at this point in my head, I went through the best date and the worst date. So let's say these are all of the men that you could possibly date, right? And you've got to like put some aside for their age. They've got to be attractive. And you're starting to get left with a smaller pool of eligible men. I did everything I had. I got, I have nothing left. Do they have good teeth? Do they have good arms? Are they family oriented? Has he dated my friends? Has he dated my cousin? Now I want them to be Armenian. What's the point of being on an Armenian dating show, right? Then you've got to break this peanut even more. Is he going to let me be independent and a center of attention? And this is the man that I am going to marry. That is my future husband. Okay, we'll see what happens. What do you think about me going on the show? I know you're going to be a big catch on the show. Just knowing oh. you, it's like you're such a unique person. Keep it cool, don't try too hard. And then there's a second date. And then what happens when they all reject you? What do you want in a sister-in-law? My biggest piece of advice for you is just don't be yourself, dude. <laughs> <laughs> don't try to like use like medical terms or like yeah, yeah. stuff from the recesses of Reddit. When this works out, I want you to name your first born after me. I'm kind of worried, like, what kind of person goes on, like, an Armenian dating show? But then, like, yeah, wait a second, like, I'm doing that right now. Yeah. 